Since I moved to Metro Atlanta nine years ago, one thing I noticed is almost everyone has a dog. You know, when we moved here, we didn't have a dog, but we got one once we moved here. His name is Zuko. He's a little 10-pound Morky. There he is. And a lot of people would argue that we love our dogs, right? And some people argue they're the most popular members of our family. You know who else loves dogs? Zuko. Doggy daycares and dog groomers. I mean, why else would you get into that line of work if you didn't love dogs? Well, you probably know where this story is going right now, and it's not really to a happy place. A mom and her teenage son have a dog named Miko. They dropped him off at the groomer, then the dad went to go pick him up, and Miko was dead. Faith Abube went to go find out what happened and joins us now. Faith, who did you talk to today? You know, this is all so fresh. Uh, I went to talk to the family and first started with the mother and the teenage son. And they were too emotional to talk, so the dad decided to talk to us. He's the male voice you're about to hear in the story first. And then you're also going to hear a woman's voice in the story. She's the Paw Paws, uh, Paw, Posh Paws employee. That's the name of the, the grooming business. She's the employee there who witnessed the brutality. She she tried to stop it but couldn't and went and reported it to police. So take a listen as the two of them explain exactly what happened. Look at him and how he is. He was a, a bundle of joy. Things like this shouldn't happen. I showed up there, I noticed that uh, her dog was laying horizontal flat on the grooming table. She said that, uh, well, he's, he tried to bite me. And I said, he's not a biter, he's a lover. I groomed Miko and he was fine. He was a very good dog. He, he had no aggression. I noticed that she was grooming him on the table that he wasn't moving at all. I walked over, put my hand in his mouth, which came out, my hand came out bloody, and I noticed that his lips and tongue were blue. Apparently, our dog had jumped off of the grooming table. And you could tell he was scared. She drug him through the door. And then proceeded to uh, kick and beat him about the body and head and chest till he fell down on the ground and then allegedly stomped him in the head. And the dog was going to the bathroom and we kept telling her just stop, just stop. She didn't stop. And then dragged him into the next room where the table was, threw him up on the table, tied the rope to the grooming hook that's usually there. The noose was very tight around its neck and then the dog went limp on the table. I couldn't believe it. I, I literally froze. I don't know how she snapped. We look at pictures and we cry a lot. I'm, I haven't been the same. I mean, it's something nobody should see. This is awful. J just now, brutal. When he walks in to get his dog, She's grooming the dog and the dog's dead? The dog is already dead, lying there on the table, lifeless, and she's, you know, still grooming the dog. And that's when they found out they needed to take the dog to a, a clinic. And they rushed the dog to the clinic, and that's when they found out the sad news there. She's been charged with animal cruelty charges. We're working right now to find out if her license will be revoked for that business incoming. All right, Faith, thanks so much. Really a tragedy for that family tonight.